Hi everyone, I'm Simon and welcome to Cold Water Tanks. Uh, in this video I'm doing some uh, beach exploring. Uh, so I recently found a nice looking beach not too far from my home that I thought had some potential. Uh, what do you all think though? Uh, is this kind of video interesting to any of you or uh, or should I stick to just tank tank videos? This would be in addition to the tank videos, of course, not not instead of. So, yeah, please let me know in the comments. Uh, as you can see, this is not a sandy beach. It's more a nice mix of rocks and mud and seaweed, etc. Yeah, so it should be possible to find a bit of variety of creatures here, I think. At one part of the beach there were a lot of these red beadlet anemones. Uh, surprisingly, many were just on the rocks on dry land, uh, fully exposed to the sun. Like you can see here. And I would have thought that that would kill them, but perhaps they're more hardy, hardy creatures than I thought. I've been struggling with keeping, keeping them happy. All kinds of anemones happy in my main tank. For some reason. I suspect there is some stray voltage or something from some, some of the equipment. So I'm going to be bringing a few of these home to add to the Gravitat. To see if they'll be happier there. I don't think they should cause any problems for the for the inhabitants there. Uh, and also, they do look spectacular. Uh, some of the ones here were bigger than I'm used to seeing, which is nice. And these are really easy to bring home as they're just stuck to very small rocks. Uh, as always, I tried looking for some green ones. Uh, I've never seen one of those, but they're supposed to exist, so I'll keep looking. You can see here they're already starting to open. Uh, I think these little hills are made from some kind of muscles. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the seaweed here is some kind of uh, bladder rack. Already got some of that in my crab tank, the Krabitat. It looks very cool in the tank, but it's uh, difficult to get to thrive uh, in tanks as from what I've seen. Uh, what I do is just, yeah, I take it out once in a while and swap it with new. There's loads of this everywhere, so it's not difficult to find. 
Here we have a bunch of common periwinkles. Uh, these can be eaten, and uh, if you make them the right way, they actually don't taste too bad. You can keep these in tanks, but uh, they have a bad tendency of climbing out of the tank, just falling on the floor. So I, I'm not a big fan of these. Uh, this is a dog whelk, which is a predatory snail. Uh, that eats barnacles and mussels, among other things. I'm sure there's a lot of cool stuff under these rocks, uh, but I didn't try looking under any rocks this time. Maybe I'll go back and make another video at some point. Here we have a group of limpets, which are algae eaters. Uh, and this, I believe, is a, an egg sac of a worm, uh, perhaps a green leaf worm. Not entirely sure about that, though. You can see these, uh, see a lot of these. If you lift up a rock or anything else under the water, you will probably have one of these under it. It's a European green crab. And these are literally everywhere. In beaches and rock pools. cool creatures, uh, they will cause a total mess in any tank. They are very aggressive, they move stuff around a lot and it will kill and eat anything it can get its claws on. some kind of jellyfish, no idea what, and I don't even think this one is still alive. They just get washed up a lot on beaches. Here's another tiny European green crab. If you look closely, you can see uh, my favorite kind of shrimp, it's a sand shrimp. Uh, sadly, I wasn't able to catch any of these today, but uh, I do have some footage of one I had before though, if you want to see, it's really cool. It's a bit windy these days, so I'm not always able to get the best footage here, sorry about that. Uh, here's a small goby of some kind. I'm guessing it's probably a painted goby. Uh, I also spotted this tiny flounder. Really not easy to see these guys. Their camouflage is quite good. And they dig down into the sand.
Uh, I did manage to catch both a uh, goby and uh, and the little flounder you saw earlier. Though I'm not sure, I believe the flounder is a European flounder, and because of the straight line you can see on its back. Uh, it could also be a small European place. Uh, I'm not sure. It's difficult to say for sure when they're this small. Uh, if the Krabitat without the chiller ends up as a success, uh, I'm planning on setting up a goby tank in my basement as well. Uh, and I'll for sure get a few of these painted gobies. They are cool little fish. Uh, they're like many, many of the smaller gobies in Norwegian waters. They have really short lifespans. This one lives a maximum of two years in the wild. A good thing about these gobies though is that uh, they're used to a bit warmer waters and fluctuating temperatures as they live in these shallow waters on the beach. And so they should be good for a tank uh, that is run without chiller. Uh, flounders are and always will be among my favorite fish. I just love how they look, especially their eyes. If you look closely there, you can see a little barnacle trying to catch some food. And I really should try to add some of these to the Krabitat as well. Uh, this is a common cockle, no idea if I'm pronouncing that correct. Uh, you can find these either just under the sand or or on top, and these are edible, uh, but to be honest I wasn't that impressed by the taste of these. There are much better mussels around. Uh, the big snail here is a common whelk, I brought this guy home to put in the Krabitat. Uh, so you'll probably see much more of that one in future updates there. Uh, as always, you can see loads of common hermit crabs on every beach or rock pool in my area.
Uh, here's, here's the stuff I'm bringing home for the Krabby Tat. Uh, I decided to take the flounder home as well. Uh, I have a little shrimp tank that I haven't made any videos from yet. Uh, where I'll put this one in for now. I'm not really sure what these little fish were. Uh, maybe small three spine sticklebacks. But uh, yeah, they could just be fry of something or. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's all for this video. If you liked it, please click the like button and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and leave a comment if you have any kind of feedback. It's all very much appreciated. Also, if you want more cold water content, you can also find me on Instagram, Twitter and Reddit. Uh, you can check the video description or, or just my main page. YouTube page for links. Anyways, see you later. Thanks for watching.